Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the joypad to control um, a sprite. What we're going to do is it's going to be in GD script and C sharp. So I'm going to do GD script first, then I'm going to follow up C sharp. So let's get to it. So here I've got an empty project. I've added a, a 2D node and just named it main. So what I want you to do is just drag in the icon, and what we're going to do is name the icon um, GD move move. We're going to attach a script. No, we're not going to touch it. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the input, um, the input map. So here you can actually put in your controls, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up the joypad controls. And how I do this is say joy right. You go down to it. You can go down to your axis. We're going to be moving on the left stick, so make sure the axis is left stick, and then we're going to make sure it's right. Add that. Now it's lengthy if we just type it out, add it, type it out, add it. So what we're gonna do is say joy left, joy up, joy down. And this way we already know that we're gonna have these three inputs, so it's better to do it in the sequence. So same again, this is actually left, that's correct. Go down, this is up, make sure that it's left up. And lastly, we're going to do down. Oops. Brilliant. Add. So now I know that when I move up, down, left, right on the left stick, this, these are being triggered. So what we can do now is say, hey, is joy right active? Yes, it is. Then move to the right. So let's do that now. So we're going to go in to RGD move node. What we're going to do is we're going to add in our script, make sure it's a GD script, GD move, I just named it for me, that's great. So we're going to do this. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to look for um, the joypad movement. So we're going to say, if input dot is action pressed, then we're going to go down to say right, then we're going to say global position dot x plus equal say 5. Now if I was to run this, if I press right, it moves right. So it's as simple as that really. So I'm going to finish off the other four, but what, to save some time I'm just going to copy paste. Oops, make sure, uh oh. Like that, and I'm gonna say left up and down. So what we want to do for the left one, we want to mindset. So we're going backwards. Oops, mine's going backwards. Um, actually, to go upwards, you actually minus. To go down, you plus. However, you want to change that to Y position and then make sure this works. I hope I haven't got the up down yet, but as you can see, we've got a working controller. So now I'm going to do the same thing but in C sharp. In C sharp, you don't get as much help, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I'll show you what you got to do. So we're going to go back to the 2D, we're going to add in another icon. Well, we'll just hide this one out of the way for now. Call this C. Oops. Now we're going to add a script, but we're going to make sure this is a C sharp script. Great. And then what I want to do is hold this Alt T for me. And then we're going to go if input dot is action pressed. Joy, right? You'll see it doesn't uh, give us any recommendations. It doesn't know to look uh, in the input mapper like GD script will. So while this is more powerful as a whole, it's longer to type out. So ooh. also global positioning plus equals new vector. So you can't go global dot x plus equals something. It's got to be actually a vector. So we know that we want to move on the x-coordinates, so we're going to say 5, and we're not going to move on the y-coordinates. Now we can do the same thing as we did before. And then we want to 
say left. Oops. Up. Down. And then obviously minus this one. Now obviously we want to do on the y axis, so that's minus five. Oops. Minus five. And this is five, and that's zero. If we save this. Now, oh god, I hope it does work. There you go. So it works again, just to make sure you can see both of them. Oops. There we go. So that concludes the tutorial. Uh, any of your questions, or if you want me to elaborate on it, you could have it so that the further you hold to the left, you could get that value, which is normally a negative one to one. It's more advanced than this tutorial as well to go at the moment, but if anyone wants to know, please let me know. I'll do the tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.